thumbnail picture of this. Well, that memory that looks really sweet and white that matches well with the motherboard is not AMD compatible. It's not Expo compatible. I can run XMP mode. It runs at the correct timings, but it runs hot. My CPU runs super hot, slow boot times, and of course, maybe not fully stable. I'd like to take a moment here to thank G Skills and their tech support for getting back to me right away to let me know that the particular memory I purchased was not valid for AMD. Hello, this is Eric of Not Bios Tech and Reviews and one of our most overlooked components of the computer system for stability, performance, boot times, all has to do with memory. Even to this day, memory compatibility is one of the most overlooked components of the entire computer. Because it's easy enough to get, I got enough of a power supply, I got a quality enough power supply, you can get a quality brand name, memory stick, and still have compatibility issues. When it comes to your motherboard, you automatically know this motherboard works with this CPU, but you might of course forget to update the BIOS. But once you do that, it's generally going to work with your new CPU. But memory, to a point, can be limited by the BIOS, but a lot of the time, you're going to be limited to either Intel, AMD, and occasionally compatibility with both. Now, if you don't have certified validated memory, one thing you can have is high temperatures, instability occasionally, and you can also have the situation of extremely long boot times or computer the boot multiple times before it finally starts up. Now let's go through memory. For instance, XMP is Intel, but I've seen a lot of XMP memory that worked just fine with AMD. And Expo is the name for AMD's extreme memory profile. Now, if you're going AMD, you want Expo in terms of your memory. But of course, if your BIOS is too old, it might not matter if it's AMD or Intel because stability and everything else will be referred by that. But what if you can't afford new memory and you have a situation of slow boot times, but everything else seems to be going okay? There is a setting you can change on some motherboards called Memory Context Restore. Now, that's not going to help your stability. That's just going to help your boot times. And initially, it'll be like a training period, and it may take literally two minutes for your computer to boot up, maybe even three. Ouch. But this way, you can at least have a system that'll boot correctly. Now, if you have the wrong type of memory, try returning it if you still can do that so you can get the correct memory sticks for your system with proper compatibility. Sometimes it actually is good to have memory that's faster rating than your CPU. Let's say if I got a stick of 6800 megahertz memory and my AMD CPU could only handle 6400. A lot of time what I could do to compensate for that I can't go higher without taking a performance hit, which kind of gets in the way of having higher performance memory, is I could lower it to 6400, then tighten those timings just a bit. And of course, I want to test for stability. However, I am running XMP right now as we speak, and it's working, but it's running at higher temperatures. My fans are going to be louder because I have no choice in the matter, and my computer is not fully stable. So I had to order new memory, and I live in, I personally live in a place that's in the middle of nowhere, so there's no Amazon one-day delivery. It's more like a week if I'm lucky, and probably two weeks where I am is the end of the road. So my computer build right here is going to be finished with a proper memory in it. And you'll see a bit of how I built this system with this motherboard. Sadly, I can't use that white really looking snazzy memory with this whitish looking board. So if you see a video, always look at the full title and the comments below to see if I had any issues and feel free to ask because honestly, I forget things just like everyone else and the humans are not infallible and sometimes we rush out to get the best looking component, maybe the tightest timing or the highest performance, not realizing there could be an issue. 
This is Eric of Nopao's Tech Interviews. Thanks for watching and leave any questions you may have below. And he may literally take hours of trying to get the tightest timings possible, but that's just the way it goes with memory overclocking. It's not as simple as I move a slider for my GPU or change the speed of my CPU and see what point it goes unstable. When you got a whole pile of timings, it can be a battle. This is Eric of Not Bios Tech Interviews. Thanks for watching again and have yourselves a most wonderful day.